we did this is part six uh, part six is going to be a short uh, video on painting a couple of these figures for the Falcon I'm still working on the cockpit but another subscriber let me know that uh, Paragraphics came out with their photo etch kit for the 144 Bandai Falcon so I ordered that and it's on its way so I'm probably going to redo my cockpit and I'll do a video on that to show you how to do that but for now we're going to do painting what I've done is I had another guy ask about painting these figures so I've got Chewbacca and I've got Ray those are the only two I'm going to use um, Chewbacca I've done in black Steinol Res primer and then Ray I've done in the white Steinol Res mainly because Chewbacca is mostly dark browns and blacks Ray's costume is uh, whites and beiges so that's the reason for those two different colors of primer so let me pull some paints and we'll start with Chewbacca first color I'm gonna start with is model air rust and I'm gonna cover almost the entire figure with this color what I have here is a number two flat brush and I have thinned the paint down a little bit with some water and I'm just making sure that I cover everything and it's okay you can still see some of the black primer through there but that's what you want Sure, don't get any pools anywhere. And I definitely want to kind of focus on the top of the head, top of the shoulders, where light would be. All right, I'm gonna let that dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. And the next color I'm going to dry brush. And this is model color beige brown. Put some on my flat brush and gotten almost all of it off. So I'm just lightly going over the, the tops. Next color, use some model air sand. Same technique, I'm just going to dry brush over the tops of the shoulder and the top of the head. And I'm going to paint the little cartridges on his belt with this model air light gray. And you can see I've got one coat on there. I'm using this very thin brush that I always use and just dabbing on top and I'll keep doing that to build it up until I get to uh, the brightness that I want now I'm going to take some model air NATO black and with that little tiny brush I'm going to try to get a couple dots for the eyes and uh, maybe a couple of spots here and there to give me some more contrast I forgot to do the <laughs> the dark of the belt so I went in and painted the belt and then I'll go back over with that light gray to hit those highlights for those cartridges.
I'm gonna get Chewbacca done. Get the straps and all that. You can't do a whole lot of detail, obviously, because it's it's 144 scale, so it's really, really small. So the best you can do is is kind of make it look patchy, but then also make sure that you've got some lights on the top and then darks on the bottom. So your eye believes that it's a three-dimensional figure, which it is three-dimensional because it's plastic, but you also want to make, make it look like it's real. So now we're going to move on to do Ray. First thing we'll start with for Ray is a model air skin tone. All right, I've put on the the flesh and I, I went outside the lines because I'm going to clean it up when I start putting on the actual color of the materials. But I've got the flesh on there. So her, her outfit kind of has a lot of grays in it, but what we're going to do is we're going to start with this model air ivory sand or sand ivory. Yeah, sand ivory. And now I've got the base colors on there. What I'm going to do now is take a model air medium sea gray. I'm going to make a light wash and go over everything with the wash. And now I have the wash on there everywhere except the front of the face. So after this dries then I'll go back in with that flesh color and uh, pop out the fleshes. And then I'm going to take my uh, my medium C gray again without being diluted and uh, put in some dark areas. Okay, I've got Ray done with a lot of colors. I need to go back over and lighten some things because it, it got a little dark as far as the outfit is concerned. But I'll work on all that and then I'll come back and I'll show you both of them all done. Well, here they are. <laughs> They're very, very tiny, obviously being 144. Did a few little touch-ups here and there, but uh, this is probably about as good as they're going to come out. So this is going to do it for part six. Um, part seven, uh, I should have the kit all together, and I'm going to be working on the base that I'm going to use for the the Falcon. So as always, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I will see you guys for part seven.